back to Blues in the Basement. Um, this is going to be part three in a series on slide guitar. I'm covering uh, probably the three great masters of slide guitar that have really influenced me. In the first video, we talked about uh, Ry Cooter. In the second video, we covered some of the techniques that Derek Trucks uses. Um, so if we're talking about slide guitar masters, we definitely have to cover Sonny Landreth. Oh my my, uh, the things he can do. So in the previous videos, I played with my slide on my third finger, which I do for control and accuracy. Um, however, for years, I played with it, the slide on my uh, pinky finger. I did that because I had a, oh, let's call it an incident, where uh, I almost lost my third finger. Um, not like misplaced it, like uh, somebody tried to bite it off. Um, so I could not use that finger for many, many months. Uh, so um, and I couldn't really put a slide on it because it was bandaged and, and splinted up. So I put the slide on my pinky and I played slide guitar for months like that and only slide. Um, it improved my playing a lot. I wouldn't recommend going to that extreme um, for, for, for your own music. Right? Okay, so the reason that um, I use the slide on my pinky for Sonny Landreth kinds of things is because that's one of the, the main techniques that Sonny Landreth uses is to be able to play both with the slide and with his fingers behind the slide. So, um, I'm going to be in the key of E, this is tuned to open E, and I'm going to show you a, a couple of tricks he uses. So first thing to note is Sonny Landreth uses a lot of compression and a lot of gain, um, and the sound is very overdriven, which gives it a, you know, a really unique sort of tone, but it also makes some of this stuff easy. It also makes it very hard to control the noise that you get, so uh, he's masterful at controlling that slide so you don't hear unwanted sounds, um, which really is, half of playing slide guitar is just controlling what sounds come out and what sounds you keep hidden. All right, so, key of E. Uh, Sonny Landreth sort of links, right? So we're gonna use this scale. And we have some options on that, uh, third string, depending on whether we're in a minor or a major, or it's kind of bluesy and we're dabbling with both. But um, the idea is you're going to play us on the 12th fret, but all I'm doing is I'm playing that note back there on with my finger. And you can start to hear some of those Sonny Landers sort of sounds. So that's what I'm going to recommend to start with. It gets a lot harder when you want to move back um, to instead of a whole step, but a step and a half behind. It gets a little bit harder because now you're spread out and it's a lot easier for your, it's a lot harder to keep your slide where it needs to be. It tends to want to gravitate sharp. And that's not a good sound. Nobody wants to hear that. Um, so that's where practice comes in. Practice where no one can hear you. Um, that's what my wife tells me all the time. So. That's one technique, right? So all I'm doing is just little sequences. that I'm basically just getting all that uh, sound out of that one technique. So the other thing that uh, is so cool about the uh, approach that Sonny Lander takes is something he does with his right hand, where he does this muting uh, with his palm uh, and creates these really cool sounds. Now, with uh, the right level of compression and gain and a little bit of, of delay, you can get some really out there sounds, and that's really where his sound is at. But the technique is I'm muting back here with my palm, uh, and I'm using my thumb to get... And it 
gets just this sort of plucky, cool sound. So, that is a cool little tip. Uh, get into uh, to start getting into the Sonny Landreth uh, turf. There's certainly a lot more that you can do with that, but um, that's a great place to start. And it's going to take some practice to get comfortable doing even just that. <laughs> So if you take all those ideas from all those great slide players and you have a little bit of Ry Cooter in there and a little bit of Derek Trucks in there and a little bit of Sonny Landreth in there, oh my, you have material to work with for, for centuries uh, before you run, of, run out of ideas. <laughs> So I hope you really like these videos. I plan on doing a couple of videos a week until someone tells me to stop. So please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. Um, you can search for me, Jay Stulo. Uh, there's probably only two of us in the whole wide world and I'll be the one with the guitar. If you really like the videos, uh, there's a link in the description for all the videos uh, to show your support with a donation. Thank you.